Okay, welcome back. It's been a little while. Mainly because I started uh, just absolutely binge watching campaign one and um, I think I'm almost caught up. I think I have a couple more episodes from the actual campaign to watch before I'm caught up to what's going on in the animated show. Oh my goodness, the last episode I actually watched from campaign one was uh, when Vax was caught by the Briarwoods in the thing and oh my goodness, I know that he keeps going for who knows how much longer in this season or I don't know, but uh, I was so nervous, I actually started to cry. Liam O'Brien. He's not going to see this. Holy moly, the, the emotions that man put me through. Brought my ears back. You can't see what I'm wearing, but I feel like it's like very Keyleth-esque. If you could hear that, you're probably hearing the creaking in my floor. But anyway, since it's been a little while, what has happened so far. Let's see. We killed David Tennant as a dragon. Baby goat died. Percy had bad dreams. Vox Machina went to a fancy dinner. The past has caught up to Percy. Vax got bitten by a vampire. Could have died. We had the exorcist times a thousand. The whispered one came up again. Uh, Scanlan- no, we're not going to talk about that. Scanlan's still alive. We had a morbid Christmas. The giant smashed everyone like a grape. Percy's sister is alive. I think she might be the Kestrel. If that's not revealed in this episode, then let me know. I still need to watch it. Maybe we'll learn more about whatever the whispered one is. Maybe. I'm very intrigued. Let's get into it. Shapeshift. Magic. Polymorph. Is that the right thing? I don't know. I'm still learning. <gasps> I'm a menace to no one but myself. Where is it? I'm already on the stairs. So this, this just came out and I got it as a bit of an early birthday present towards myself because my birthday is March 20th, which is on Sunday. For some reason I thought it was, uh, a different day but no it's Sunday no idea what I'm gonna do for my birthday it's Sunday so I'll probably just take a nap that's what Sundays are good for um or maybe I'll just dive into this some more I haven't gotten too far in it but um the artwork is absolutely beautiful I really must say like look how cute Little baby, uh, little baby goblins. They're adorable. Let's jump into it. <gasps> My glasses! I think I remember a few people pointing out that, uh, the true big bad evil guy to Vox Machina is, uh, doors. For me, it's numbers, which we saw evidence of that in the last video, I think. Hi, so, uh, Editor Mead, like, uh, 12 hours after I filmed, um, I just remembered, as I was editing, because the doors came up a bit in this episode, and then I remembered a time where my friends and I had a very similar situation happen when we were in Honduras for a, a bit. I'm gonna include the footage just for the heck of it, whatever it is that messed with Vox Machina, getting through doors, it got us too. Also, someone said these are like, uh, Percy glasses, which I didn't even realize until they pointed that out. Um, I love these glasses. They're blue light glasses from, uh, I don't know how to say the name of the company, so I'm just gonna put the text up and I'll put a link to it in the description. It's not sponsored, I just really like it. <gasps> also, 
Wait. Let me double check, because I can't remember. I'm at a... Th blah, 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 blah. I'm at 311 subscribers already. You guys are awesome. That's so many of you. At least that's that's a lot to me. And I appreciate it. Okay. Now we're getting into it. I have to adjust it because I wore a hat the last time. Quite stone. Mind from our oh, very mountains. It's young Percy. Don't like you. Take this delicate land She's adorable. Cassandra, are you volunteering to demonstrate? You volunteering? This man hates children. <laughs> You're not endangering the heirs of Whitestone, are you, Professor? Oh, that's exactly what he's doing. This man was waiting for his moment. Do keep the children in one piece, if you can. Sure. Look, little baby Parsi. See you at dinner, dears. Oh, it's going to be a bad dinner, isn't it? I appreciate it. No, not at all. Professor, it's just an experiment. Not to me. You'll never appreciate it. Pray you never wake to find reality knocking at your door. This man was waiting for it to happen. I'm already angry. Oh, they're still up there. <gasps> that, that's right, she has to talk to the tree. The fuck happened back there? I assure you, I'm in control. I don't think he is. We came here, darling. You promised no more lies. Darling. With my family murdered, I had no way of striking back. So how does his uh, hair get so white? Stress? I feared the Dorello name was a death sentence. So beautiful. Oh. You're gonna get food poisoning. I know from experience that that is awful. I dreamt of a machine that would tip the scales of fortune in my favor. I dreamt of this. Did he invent the gun? No wonder he's single. Not the time, Scanlan. Give it time. Ooh. She's not going to see some good stuff, that's for sure. Oh, Delilah. Are they going to have to go underground to... Or maybe it's just Delilah. And until about an hour ago, Kyrian stone fell. Hold up, that's five names. Who's the sixth barrel for? Don't let it be for himself. You told me they was all empty. Guess there was one left. He put out fire with ale? Why not just announce where our hideout is while you're at it? All right, you made your point. It was an accident. It's a rough night. They gotta kill that giant. There's a million guards and we'll die a thousand deaths. Um, is that a lot? Math. I can create a distraction while you save Percy's sister. I am aware of the Triceratops moment from the campaign. I haven't reached it yet. I'll burn down his motherfucking house. <gasps> Reference. Gah, don't worry about me. I know exactly what I'm doing. He has no idea. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm a mess to distract you. Oh, I can burn down that uh, moron. I love that Scanlan's getting a moment to shine. It's a Pied Piper. Hopping walls like a cat. No! Suddenly it's a musical episode. This is like that scene from uh, Emperor's New Groove. Kronk singing his own sneaky little theme song. Prove that's wrong. Unless fucking rain comes along. Oh my gosh. Oh. Going to see if you hit. Ah. They're playing D and D. I love it. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Eh? Find a mouse hole. Yeah, Max is way better at this. Mm. Okay. I mean. 
you sang as you did stuff. This is why I probably wouldn't survive in this world, because my brain is just ruled by common sense too much. It's like someone would say something, then you'd just hear me in the background. Lies spread by drunks and knaves. If no one left Whitestone, would we be sitting before you, Sovereign? Yeah, here's the problem with that, though. Burn it all. That was and Matt. Were Daxio and Mond? What are these psychos playing at? They gonna try to control the whole... Oh, shark. Uh. The continent. With all the flags. Like, doing that whole, uh... There's no war in bossing say thing. <laughs> the doors! <laughs> I would've gone right off the edge. Darling. Darling. The longer we wait, the more we risk being discovered. On my shot, we move. Let's. Have they not, not caught on to the fact that the Holy the building's shit. on fire? I was dead yesterday. Remember? I can only improve from here. Can't get any deader unless you made an effort. <laughs> Do what Grog did in the Crucible and. uh... You good, buddy? Ooh. He would like to rage. But the brothels have taught me one thing. Size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. Once again, they made him match the pitch of the music, and I love that. It's that kind of attention to detail that I latch onto. And don't forget to tip your sir. Scanlan has left the building. She's in there. Oh, husky. Always. Oh, get your hands off her. You seem to think this is a negotiation. Don't. Are you kidding me? I think I would like to rage. Final thoughts on that. I want him dead. Protect Percy at all costs. I will wrap him in this blanket of love and affection. Now that I know the phrase for, um, uh, no mercy Percy, I think the next episode, that's the time. Take him out. Man, that guy was a creep. I'm just mad now. I'm just so mad at the character. What was his name? The Professor. Pew pew. I would like some death in the next episode, please. If you want to see more, subscribe. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, yeah, subscribe. Um, I really do appreciate all the comments. Oh, I gotta get, I gotta finish this off with some love. You guys are all amazing. I actually almost filmed this video in the daytime. It's actually two in the morning right now. I like having this setup where it feels like I have a Neverland in my room. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, have fun and see you soon. We have right I'm now this. stuck in the room and she's not going to be able to go to ministry. Right. Was this on purpose? Okay. <laughs> Let's think. Let's think. Oh, Here, no. let me. Hold on, stop. That I'm doing so it. Rookie. I don't know how I got it open earlier, but it took me a while. <laughs> Push it like you've never pushed anything. We did, but she oh. could have just walked. Basically, earlier, I just like, jammed it back in there and I was like, you're gonna open it. And then it did. I'm sorry. How do you feel? It's alright. It's alright. I made it out alive. Yeah. Yes. Just no laughter. We're good. I'm a survivor. Yes, you are. I'm a survivor.